Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bring you guys another NHL 14 video here for you guys, talking about the 2014 Canadian Olympic roster, that is right guys, so I'm going to be covering all the big teams uh, through the course of the next week I'm guessing, so I'm going to be covering Finland, Sweden, US, Russia, all these big teams. Give me a rundown who made the team, uh, just my thoughts on the team in general. Uh, their, I guess their uh, odds of winning gold, silver, whatever, bronze, of being a top three contending team. Uh, just all that, right? So uh, some notable people that didn't make the team, uh, some questionable moves by management, all that good stuff. Just a big overhaul of all the big teams and all the, I guess, the dark horse teams and all that. So um, we're going to start off with Canada in this episode. Uh, it's not going to be like a series or anything like that, but there's going to be different pieces. Uh, to these videos because I really want to run down the big teams uh, for the Olympics But anyways, let's get going here with the forwards for the Canadian Olympic roster Okay, so I know most of you guys already know that but for my uh, for my subscribers that don't I'll be running through it So for the forwards who made it we have Jimmy Ben, Patrice Bergeron, Jeff Carter, Sidney Crosby uh, Matt Duchesne, Ryan Getzlav, Chris Kunitz, Patrick Marlowe, Rick Nash, Corey Perry, Patrick Sharp, Steven Stamkos, John Tavares, and Jonathan Taze. So a very, very deep uh, forward lineup there, if I don't say so myself. That's just a scary lineup. It's insane. I mean, you got everything. You got the size. You got the grit. You got the skill. I mean, I'm very excited to see this team play. Uh, a few notable... Um, I guess picks, if you will. Uh, people are debating about Chris Kuditz making the team, Jeff Carter, um, even uh, like Patrick Sharp. I mean, I've heard a couple people uh, talk about Patrick Sharp. I personally think he deserves to make the team. That's a great pick by management. Uh, that's why I kind of find that stupid. But I could see the argument for Chris Kunitz and Jeff Carter. So uh, what I want to talk about for Kunitz first is uh, the whole uh, chemistry with Crosby. Personally, I can understand where management's coming from uh, with that move because... I mean, it's one of the ba probably the best line in the NHL, really. I mean, it's crazy. So, I mean, why not have to have Crosby's partner in crime, basically, right? They're just tearing up the NHL. I can see why management picked Chris Kunitz. He is a good player, don't get me wrong. But I just think that other players can play with Crosby. I just don't buy the whole chemistry thing. I know they're playing it safe, which it does make sense from a management standpoint. Uh, but coming from like a fan standpoint, I just think anyone can play with Crosby. Let's be real, right? I mean, that's why I think uh, Drew should have made it over Kunitz or something like that. It's just, it's just dumbfounds me how Drew doesn't make the team. It's crazy. He's been tearing it up lately. Considering he hasn't scored in like his uh, in the beginning of the season, it was the first 10 or first 15 games. He was on a huge uh, like uh, scoreless drought like completely and now that he's picked up to like 38 points in like uh, I can't remember how many games but he's close to a point a game player it's just insane he's been doing so well for the Flyers he's basically turned them around it's crazy him and Voracek have just been doing work so it's just kind of it's weird to see but I can understand, once again, from a management standpoint, why they would pick Kunitz. But I just think Drew would be a way better fit, in my opinion. You could even play Drew with Duchesne. I mean, if, if I can't remember what tournament it was. Uh, but Drew and Duchesne absolutely teared it up. They had like something like 12 goals, 10 goals, or something like that. Maybe even more in a limited amount of games. I can't remember what tournament it was. So leave a comment down below if you guys remember that. But they were crazy together. I mean, Drew's uh, versatility as well. He can play center. He can play the wing. I uh, most likely wouldn't play center on this team, uh, but I mean, you could put him on the right wing, right? So, I mean, his versatility is there if you need it, and he's just been tearing it up. So, that's why I think it was a huge upset for Drew. I really do feel bad about him, and uh, hopefully you can bite him in the ass. I mean, the proves eyes have been wrong, right? I mean, it's just good to see that it gives him, like, the motivation, right? So, that's good to see for Drew's standpoint, but it really sucks that he didn't make the team. And um, another uh, player I want to mention is Jeff Carter. A lot of people are bringing up Jeff Carter's name, but uh, personally, I'm fine with this pick. I th you could put Taylor Hall there, uh, but you could argue inexperience and all that good stuff, right? Uh, he's on a really bad Oilers team, but I mean, I'm fine with Jeff Carter. I would like to see uh, Hall there instead. I mean, I personally think he's one hell of a player. I mean, he's the one of the best skaters in the NHL. It just doesn't make sense to me. He's fucking insane Hall. If you guys watch Taylor Hall, he's just an absolute animal. Uh, but that goes to Jeff Carter as well. I mean, I think they just want the size. The versatility, too, in Jeff Carter is crazy. He can play the either wing. He can play center, whatever. It's just a really safe pick once again. Uh, but I think other players, 
like Taylor Hall should have took uh, Jeff Carter's spot. But that's just my opinion, personally. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that pick. Uh, but once again, it's just a safe pick by management. So other than those two guys, I think it's a really skilled and a really gritty if they need to. I mean, with size too. Some of these players are like six foot four, like Rick Nash. You know, Ryan Getzlav is like six five or something like that. So it's pretty crazy. They got uh, all the skill in the world. They got the grit. They can do whatever they want. They're just gonna own the ice. I love it. So I'm very happy with the Fords group, but there are some names uh, that I think they. Um that should be the team instead. And like even Martin St. Louis, if you're going to pair Kuntz with Crosby, why not St. Louis with Stamkos, right? It just doesn't make sense. But um, in the fact that Eisman was the one picking, it just it's really weird. But other than that, a very solid forward group, if I would say so myself. Now on to defense, okay? So we got Jay Bowmeister, Drew Doughty, Dan Hamuse, Duncan Keith, Alex Patrangelo, PK Subban, Mark Edward Vlasic, and Shea Weber. So I'm actually pretty happy with this defensive core. I mean, Babcock really wanted the left-right thing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like the right uh, hand D-man on the right side, obviously, and the left hand D-man on the left side. Uh, I think that's just a huge issue in Detroit itself. I mean, they have all left-hand defensemen, and they've been struggling as of late. So I think Babcock got his wish with the left-right deal. So uh, just a rundown of it. Um, I think it's a really solid group. I mean, there are some notable people that didn't make the uh, defensive core. I mean, Brent Seabrook was an absolute no-brainer for me. I mean, honestly, if you could have le you have the, your left, right, and um, uh, what's his name? Duncan Keith. I can't believe I forgot that for a second. You got your left, right, and Duncan Keith and Seabrook. It's just crazy. I mean, I, I mean, he's not the greatest skater. I understand that. But, I mean, the bigger ice isn't that much bigger like I know it's a huge factor but I mean the the chemistry with um Keith and Seabrook is second to none it's insane right I mean Duncan Keith is arguably having one of his best seasons of his career uh he's like nominated he's gonna be nominated for the Norris Trophy without a doubt I'd be surprised if someone tries to take it from him but I mean, he's gonna be—he's a Norris Trophy winner already, and I think that um, Seabrook puts him in his happy place. That, uh, happy place. I can't believe I messed up there, uh, but in his happy place, right? So I mean, he'll produce. Seabrook has got his back. I just think it's a great one-two pairing, and it was a no-brainer for me. But um, I think players like. Uh, Dan Hamuse took over, so uh, and Mark Edward Vlasic. I know Mark Edward Vlasic is uh, actually a, like a really good defenseman. Surprisingly, I've watched a couple of San Jose games. Uh, he he pulls his weight. He's a pretty good D man. Don't get me wrong, but um, he's just the. Uh, very underrated, and I think a lot of people are arguing, oh, so-and-so should have made it over him. What is this? This is crazy. This is craziness. But I think Vlasic is a pretty safe pick, honestly. He's been on a good San Jose team. Uh, he's played his role very well, and um, he got some grit, too. So, I mean, he's a good bottom six defenseman. I can't see him playing them on the top four or anything like that, but he may even be a scratch. Who knows? Uh, so, I think that's a pretty good pick, uh, but once again, I just it just dumbfounds me how Seabrook doesn't make it. It's crazy, but um, I got my wish in P.K. Subban making the team. A lot of people are debating, oh, he's not going to make it because of attitude issues and stuff like that. Okay, this is the unbiased in me coming right now. I absolutely can't stand Montreal, okay? I cannot stand them. But P.K. Subban is one hell of a D-man. He's the Nor he's the reigning Norris Trophy winner. It's a no-brainer for him uh, to make this team. If they didn't, I would have been absolutely pissed. I would have been so mad. Um, I have so much respect for Subban. Uh, but I, I love Subban. I love Price. Everyone else on the uh, Canadians, not so much. But I've gained so much respect for P.K. Subban. He's such a nice guy off the ice, too. Like, he just... He just has everything. He's got the whole skill set. He's a fast D-man. He can provide anything. He can play a solid two-way game. And can provide the offense when it's needed. Uh, it's just a lock for me. I thought he was a lock. But just this fact that uh, his name was in uh, contention for not even making the team was crazy. So, But um, aside from that, I think it's a really solid uh, defensive core. I really like Drew Doughty there. Drew Doughty and Shea Weber um, were locks for me from the start. So I really like seeing them there. Uh, Alex Petrangelo as well, one of the best D men in the league. Uh, it's just crazy. Six foot three, like two hundred pounds or something like that, right? So um, he's a very skilled and really gifted uh, D man there. Uh, Dan Hamuse is another one. People are like, oh, how is Dan Hamuse make the team and uh, Brent Seabrook didn't? 
I've watched uh, a fair share of uh, Canucks games as well, and uh, at the start of the season, Hamus was god awful. Like he was really, really bad. Uh, but now that he's picked up his game, he made himself, uh, I guess, in contention to making the team. And what do you know? He made the team. So I mean, if he's on a hot streak now, can keep it up. I'm very fine with the pick. But I mean, players like Brent Seabrook, I don't know. But other than that, I think it's a very solid defensive core, and uh, they can just do it all. They can provide the offense. They can provide the grit they can shut down the other team's uh, top players and with like players like Shea Weber Duncan Keith all those players um it's just gonna be insane so very very deep core for Canada this year I'm very surprised so uh it's good to see and uh I shouldn't say surprised I mean the Canadians have unreal players but uh, it's just really good picks and a uh, very nice management uh from Eisman but anyways on to the goaltenders so we have Roberto Lolongo Carey Price and Mike Smith I thought um this these were going to be the goalies from the start. I thought uh, Mike Smith is, uh, he's played mediocre this season. He hasn't done anything spectacular. Uh, I think people are really, um, I guess they really don't like the pick because, I don't know, I don't know what it is about Mike Smith. He just lets in those uh, really weird goals sometimes, right? I mean, he's kind of that iffy goaltender you really don't know about. Uh, he plays in a good defensive, uh, like in front of a good defensive core in Phoenix. I mean, people who really underestimate Phoenix D core, it's insane. So, I mean, Mike Smith has done pretty well. Uh, but if I had to replace Mike Smith with another goaltender, I'd have to go with Corey Crawford. Even though he's injured, Corey Crawford has been lights out for the Chicago Blackhawks. And uh, even though I don't think he's the best goaltender myself, but I just think it makes sense for all the good players that are in front of him. And it's just a safe, like, uh, third-string goalie, right? So I don't even know. They may even play him as second string. Who knows, right? So uh, Mike Smith was a decent pick, in my opinion. Carey Price is a no-brainer for me. He's played phenomenal all season. I mean, he has his game here and there. But Carey Price has been very solid this season, and I'm very happy they picked him. And good old Roberto Lolongo. So um, people are even debating that, like, oh, Lou, uh, choke artist, he's he's back on the team. Hey, he won a gold medal last time. So uh, they played it safe. I think they did really well with the team. I'm very surprised with a couple people, right? I mean, with uh, Chris Kunitz and uh, Mark Edward Vlasic and a couple of players like that. But other than that, they played it safe, and they made really smart de uh, decisions with the this team so I'm very very happy uh, with the selection the overall outcome of the team so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I think this is like a 13 minute video now uh, I've kind of been rambling on a bit uh, but let me know in the comments what do you guys think of Team Canada. Do you think they're a gold medal contentionist again? Uh, I personally think they uh, can with this team. This team is absolutely filthy. Uh, they're definitely top three without a doubt. And uh, it'll be great. I cannot wait till the Olympics. So uh, once again, let me know in the comments what you guys, uh, what team you guys like to see me cover in the next episode. And just your thoughts on Canada in general. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more HL14 content. That is right guys peace all this attention got me hype cut the lights baby this ain't only for the night baby this is life uh this is where i'm taking flight and never touching down said it now they know i'm in it when i say we run the town